Hello, hope you're in the best of health. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add audio files in Google Sites. The platform that we'll be using to do this is elfsite.com. And with elfsite.com, you'll be able to create an account for free and you'll be able to use any one of their widgets also for free. Even if you're a complete beginner, this is perfect for you. So once on elfsite.com, we are going to hover over widgets in the top left hand corner. Then from there, what I want you to do now, you are going to scroll down until you see audio player as you can see right here. You are going to tap on audio player. After selecting audio player, you will be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you will be able to choose a template of your liking. So you can see the different templates right here. So you have the music playlist, you can also tap on inline audio player, you can tap on any one of these templates. So you could select this one also and you can see how it looks. You can select another audio player option as you can see right there. But let's say for example, we were to use this one for example sake. After you're finished, you'll simply tap on continue with this template. Then from there, you could add tracks. So you could add in your audio file name. So we could tap right here, select edit. Then from there, you could add in your track title. After adding in your track title, you could add in the artist's name. You can also add an image as you can see right there. Now, once you're finished, you could simply scroll down. And from here, if it is a case that you'd like them to download your track, you could tap on download track right there. Or if it's a case that you'd like them to go on to Apple Music or so on, you could do that. So you could put in your Apple Music link right here. So we could tap on the three dots. And from there, you could insert your Apple Music link as you can see right there. So you have numerous options. Now we're going to go back. So let me tap on done real quick. After you're finished setting that up, you'll tap on add track. Then from there, you are going to tap on browse files and we are going to be uploading our audio track. So for example, I will select this audio track. Then you are going to tap on open and you can see your audio track is being uploaded as you can see right there. Once it has been added, you could go over to the left hand menu option and from there you could select player. And you can also select the player controls that you like your fans to have access to. So you can see right there if you like to set up a playlist. If you like them to be able to play it on loop, you can do that. Instead of the player info image being displayed, you can toggle that off and only display the title. If it is a case that you like to change the player color, you could tap on style. And then from there, you could tap on background color and you could change it to whatever color you want. You can also change the font style and so on. Once everything is finished, you're going to tap on add to website for free. After tapping on add to website for free, you will be redirected to a new page. On this new page, all you'll need to do now, you're going to tap on publish in the top right hand corner. After tapping on publish, I want you to tap right where you see free. You're going to tap on select. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to a new page and you're going to tap on copy code. After you have tapped on copy code, you're going to go back into Google site. Then from there, you're going to go over to the right hand menu option and you're going to tap on embed. Then select embed code. And you are going to paste in the HTML code that you have copied. Then tap on next. Then after doing that, you are going to tap on insert. Then once it has been inserted, you can adjust how it looks by simply pulling along the box right here. You can adjust how the player looks. Once it is to your liking, all you'll need to do now is tap on publish. And then from there, your viewers will now be able to go onto your Google site then tap on play and they'll be able to play it. If it is a case that you want them to download your track, you could add the track link and then you could tap on download. They could tap on download right there or they'll be able to go into Apple Music or Spotify to play it 
once you have added your profile links. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.